Hello there, and podcast listeners. This episode is all about one student who we met a couple of months ago, and she she was taking the IELTS test, and she and we said online on the podcast <laughs> that she's going to come back and do uh, another interview when she passed. But there was a bit of a scare along the way. So I'll just introduce her. Welcome back to the podcast, Gabriella. How are you? Thank you, Ben. I'm very good. I'm very excited for this result. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Now then, um, Gabriella, just for those who didn't this who didn't uh, manage to who haven't heard the the first podcast we did, can you just give like an overview, an introduction of like your situation, like why you're taking the IELTS and where you want to go with the IELTS? Well, I'm taking the IELTS because I want to apply to the permanent residency in Australia. And immigration asked me for the immigration department asked me for take for taking this test and getting at least seven in each band. I've taken the test um, several times. Actually, this one, the last one, was my sixth time. Um, sixth six time. Yeah. Right. Exactly. <laughs> and I was pretty good with the listening and reading test, but. Um, for me, the writing and speaking part were really challenging. And mm-hmm. yeah, I decided to enroll with you because I already uh, enrolled myself in some presential uh, courses. I mean, mm-hmm. I I went to a school, yeah, but they helped me to some extent. However, mm-hmm. I was still stuck with the. Uh, writing tests and also the speaking tests. I see. Um, Can I just ask yeah. you a question? Um, like, what was the moment you decided to enroll in my course? Like, what were you thinking and like feeling at the time just before you decided to start my course? Well, I remember I have a friend who told me that. Um, he passed the IELTS test. Uh, mm-hmm. He took it twice, mm-hmm. and he told me, "Oh, I just um, took some lessons with an online teacher, and he helped me so much. He corrected my essays, and I thought, okay, it's okay. It's not something very amazing. It's what what my teacher is doing right now. So I remember at that moment, I didn't decide to start with you." The moment when I decided to enroll into your course was when was when I finished my my course here in Australia and I decided to to do something different because everything I've done until that I had done until that time didn't work. So I said, okay, I'm gonna try. And as you also gave the um, uh, warranty, I said, okay, I'm guarantee. not gonna lose. Yeah. yeah, the guarantee. I'm not going to lose money. So it was about two months ago. I can remember or mm-hmm. three months. I can remember exactly when was that. Yeah, maybe two or three months ago. It's, um, there's a bit yeah. of a time delay as well because usually I yeah, record the podcast and then sometimes I publish straight away and sometimes I keep it for two weeks, you know, or three weeks or whatever and then publish. But okay, so just to summarize, you were in a language school and you had already taken a few different tests, um, a few so, different IELTS tests, and then you thought, okay, I'm going to just try something different because what I'm doing at the moment isn't working, and you thought, I'm going to try something different because a friend recommended or mentioned. Uh, did he just say, get your essays corrected online, or did he just say, go to Ben's site, or what did he say? Do you remember? I, sorry, can you repeat the last part? Yeah. Didn't catch it. Did he say, ah, I just went to sentenceguide.com or did he say, I just got my essays checked online? Yeah, he told me, he didn't tell me exactly the name of the of sentence guide, I remember. Mm-hmm. He just told me that there was an online teacher and he didn't say so much about that because I didn't ask anymore. Right, okay then, okay. So, 
we you, you started the course and uh, we were talking, we did the podcast interview and we said, okay, we're going to do another one when you pass and you get yeah. the right in. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and then what happened? What happened? Like... <laughs> okay. This is like a TV show or something like that where there are several episodes. Well, I remember I um, when I took the test, I, I thought, Okay, I got the score, um, but when I got the results, I was pretty um, upset because uh, I got 6.5 in writing and speaking as well, and I said, no, I have to challenge. I remember I didn't say so much in your Facebook group. Uh, I just sent you a message um, mm -hmm. ask, uh, telling you the, my, about my results. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and I decided to challenge. Why did you decide to, to challenge the writing? Were you confident that you'd done a really good essay? You yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, because, uh, yeah, I, I, I realized that I had worked really hard and I knew that I, have, I had really improved a lot. Uh, I could, when I started writing with you, I could find the difference uh, between the structure and my old my old essays, I mean, they were very disorganized. I didn't know what to write on them. Mm -hmm. However, right now I know what I have to write on them. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I just felt uh, I don't know the word, but uh, maybe I felt that they were cheating me. Maybe that's the word. Uh, wow. I felt so angry with the institution that gave me that score. And yeah, I said. Okay, I'm gonna challenge. I remember the guy told me, "Oh, but this is gonna cost you one hundred and seventy dollars, and if you don't get a higher score, uh, you lose the money. Otherwise, you will get a refund." Okay, it doesn't matter. I won that. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, they called me and they told me that my writing test, my yeah, it, they have a review it again and they increase my score. Uh, in the writing test mm -hmm. to seven. So finally, I got seven in the writing test. Wow, fantastic, fantastic. Yeah, you truly yeah. deserve that, absolutely. So well Thank done you. there, Gabriella. That's fantastic. And well done for having the courage as well to, um, to you know, just to reject their original score. Um, can I just ask you, in the writing exam, do you remember the actual question you got for task two and for task one? Um, yeah, I think so. Yeah, it was about um, if it's good or bad for children having their parents helping them when they are doing their homework from school. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what I mean? With um, homeschooling. If it's, yeah, uh, if parents should should help their children right. uh, at home doing their homework from school. I see, I see. And what did you write, just out of curiosity? Um, okay, I think <laughs> I wrote something like... Uh, I think I gave both both uh, I I think I had to to give two views. Mm -hmm. So I said, yeah, it's good for for children uh, because they feel uh, support by their parents or something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. And on the other hand, uh, sometimes they become very dependent on their parents and things like that. Very and I gave some, yeah, some examples about Harvard University studies <laughs> and a magazine. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> well done there. And so you, and you felt sort of like, um, you felt that these, this was a seven because it was such a big improvement or it was so different from your previous essays and your previous essays were scoring about 6.5. What were your previous essays scoring? They were scoring 6.0 or 6.5. It 
it was continu- continuously changing. Right. But okay. yeah, so it improved. I could say one ban or mm. uh, or half ban, but it improved. Right. I see. Well, fantastic. That absolutely fantastic. And I, I love the way you, you were thinking about this as well. It's just like, okay, all my last essays, six, 6.5, I do something radically different. I've also improved, I implemented a strong structure. I've also improved my grammar, my vocabulary, and you're still giving me the same score as before. That's not fair. So you decided. And it's interesting as well that the guy, he didn't want you to do it, did he? The, the person yeah exactly mm. yeah, yeah i think so but uh, i said yeah i'm gonna do it whatever it happens mm-hmm. wow okay so well done there that's fantastic um for the for this and i was so worried you know i was so worried when um, when finally well when you emailed me and you said oh i got 6.5 again and i was like oh no Oh no, and I was thinking like, I don't know what to do. And I told some friends and they said, ah, oh, just take the original podcast off. And I was like, oof, I don't want to do that. And I was thinking, really, I was thinking, okay, we can have the podcast, we can do it and we can just continue working and then, yeah, maybe reach another solution. But yeah, uh, I think, yeah, I owe you a massive thank you for your courage of being able no. to, 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 to say I'm going to resubmit because it takes a lot of courage and yeah and plus like gambling not gambling but risking the $170 uh, as well so yeah I owe you a massive massive thank you as well Gabriela no thank you and I want to tell you that I think that you are a very professional teacher and you you what you said, you you do, because I remember I asked you uh, if I could get the refund, and yeah, you told me yeah, no problem. Uh, I just wanted to wait for the for wait. Uh, I wanted to wait for the final result, and I told you okay, let's wait. What what they are gonna tell me about that? Mm-hmm. But yeah, you were completely open to give me the the refund. And yes, I also told you, uh, well, maybe I don't have anything else to, to say in the interview because I still got 6.5 and you told me no, but we should still do this because that's what it's okay. What is fine. We said we are going to have another interview and mm-hmm. that's what we should do. Yeah. Oh, the thing was, uh, Gabriela, I was thinking like, I mean, what I wanted to say was what, what, I had sort of like a rough plan and I was like, yeah, you got, you would have got the refund because we failed because you did everything, you know, you did all the exercises during the course and you did all the essays, you know, and you implemented, um, and, uh, for some reason you didn't get the result until you asked for a remark and then you did get the result. But what I wanted to say was that because you had done everything, that we asked and you didn't do it over the space of three years you know it wasn't sort of like (laughs) one essay submitted every three months you did it over a reasonable amount of time something like a month six weeks something like that which is which is perfect you know you did everything so you was totally justified for uh to get the refund Uh uh-huh and maybe uh, well, what I want to say is that some students, they will buy the course, you know, they will buy the course, and I don't refund everybody, you know, because some of them, they do the, the, the craziest sort of like order when they submit their essays and they jump and then they ask for it back in like 12 hours and they buy the course three days before their exam and then of mm. course they don't get the improvement and then they want a refund. And like it doesn't it doesn't work like that, but you completed everything, you know? You completed yeah. everything, so you were totally justified in asking for a refund. And I was just like, Yeah, and you even did sort of like more. You you were getting more essay checks and 
you were constantly consulting and asking for the advice and stuff like that. So in my mind, you were you were totally justified. So that's why I was, yeah, that's why when you said, would it be okay for the refund? I was like, yeah, there's no way I, I could not say I couldn't say Thank no, you, you know. <laughs> Thank you. So now you've and the the speaking that unfortunately that stayed at six point five. Can I ask you yeah. what what practice you were doing with regards to the speaking? And I was kind of disappointed about that. I was more heartbroken with the writing, but the speaking was um yeah it was also a bit of a, a downer. So. What, what practice were you doing with regards to that? Well, I remember I was practicing with a friend who already got uh, nine in mm. the speaking test, uh, like a native speaker. Um, I was recording myself. He was asking me questions, and we were recording my, my speech. And, yeah, trying to use the structure you said, like the, the paraphrasing the questions. For example, what is your name? My name is Gabriela. Mm. Uh, I remember that in the past I didn't use to do that. I just went straight to the answer. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, and yeah, I was practicing in that way. I was also catching with some uh, native, native speakers. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. Maybe they don't like my pronunciation, or I don't know what what is happening with this. Uh, but yes, that's, um, that's, yeah, it's uh, such a shame. It's such a shame. And um, yeah, I, th- I was saying to another student the other day that the to get like a system for improving the speaking is um, it's with the writing. Uh, I managed, you know, I got a, I, I could do it, but with the speaking, because it's such a spontaneous skill and yeah. you don't have the time to sort of like plan or to go back and to edit and to check and stuff like that. It's, um, it's a much more difficult skill. And I think it's one that maybe takes more long-term improvement. I, I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm still, um, yeah, it's it's a tricky one. It's a tricky one. So, when you were when you were practicing, you practiced with the with your friend, and you just went through lots of questions, and you did sample answers and stuff like that. Did he give you feedback while you were practicing with each other? Yes, yes. He usually he used to correct me uh, my pronunciation or the way I answer the questions, things like that. Mm-hmm. Um, Yes, I think the best way to to correct you is by using the recording. And so he was listening it with me, mm-hmm. and he stopped the recording, saying, "Okay, you did this mistake here, so be careful and things like that." Mm-hmm. I see. I see. Okay, then, Gabriela. Well, I think we can um, finish there. And I just wanted to say, if you've got any other questions, you know, just send me an email. Uh huh, and I'd be happy to help. Thank you so much for your help, also with my instructor of the essay and all those things. <laughs> You're welcome, yeah. Gabriela. You've been a wonderful student, and if yeah, and I think all the students listening have been following along, listening to your uh, listening to the story, and it's been wow. Like I said in the Facebook group, it's been like a um, telenovela, like a soap opera. I want to know what's been happening. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, so, and I also got some uh, some of your students that they have wrote me asking me for information. Okay, what score did you get in the test and things like that? Or give me some material about the reading, things like that. It's it's great because you, you feel that you can support others with some advice uh, yeah about it yeah, yeah it's totally cool. totally i think having that support system around you know and especially like if every, if people are studying online it can be quite a solitary and yeah can, quite a solitary experience so having groups of other students in a similar situation around is um is really beneficial so yeah totally agree with IELTSPodcast.com.